victims, parents, the grief is unimaginable. In the past year, some have run for office, joined state commissions, even met with the president himself. But one father has taken an entirely different path. Here's Mark Kelly. Artist Manuel Oliver painted pretty things. But February 14, 2018, something very ugly happened to his family, forever changing his art. We have a crusade to make. In the years since his son Joaquin was murdered in his own high school, Manuel started calling himself an artivist. It's not about the art. It's about the message inside the art. From the Mexican side of the U.S. border wall, where he wrote in Spanish, on the other side, they also kill our children. Bang! To our nation's capital, where he staged a die-in, Manuel's been traveling to many places with a single message. America needs more control over its guns. If you're expecting me to be in Washington talking to, talking to politicians and convincing them, that I'm not going to do that. Why is that? Because I'd rather impact people than convince people. And one of Manuel's most convincing works of artivism is behind this box. It's called The Last Lockdown. The first thing I see is the eyes are incredible. She's afraid, yeah. She's very terrified. afraid. She's terrified. She's terrified about what could happen. Manuel and his wife Patricia work together with another shooting victim. Gabby Giffords, the former Arizona congresswoman who survived a shooting in 2011. Her foundation, along with the Olivers, worked to place these statues across the country. The so-called last lockdown statues have been on display in congressional districts where politicians have accepted large campaign contributions from the NRA. They show a petrified little girl hiding under her desk during an active school shooting. The feedback we're receiving from them is that thank you for what you're doing, keep going. Manuel says the inspiration for his artivism could very well continue for the rest of his life. Like but that is far off. Right now, one now of the most challenging a... projects. And this little box, it's been here for a while. Is staring him. Because I need to decorate this. Right in the face. This is where the ashes of my son are going to be. I got to do something special, something beautiful. I refuse to think that I will go to bed at night thinking I did nothing today to honor Joaquin or to help his fight or to solve the problem. And that was Mark Kelly last week.